That basketball game in Flower Mound a week or so ago with Plano East has changed some of the rules now, but it hasn't changed nearly enough. Kids on the Flower Mound side were seen holding up signs saying white power. And too many parents and apparently others who care tried to defend what you cannot defend. Some parents actually argued that it was just a mistake. They had five signs, grabbed two, and they just accidentally, when held together, said white power. Louisville school officials say now it was no accident. And how could it have possibly been? They're taking their signs away, but there's a history in Flower Mound. When my granddaughter, who went to Louisville High, would be at a game in Flower Mound, she and her friends would hear the chant, Welfare babies, do you know who your daddy is? Because we know ours. I feel sorry for people who find their value and the value of their home or the money they have. But I don't blame the kids as much as some of you might. Maybe because I used to be one of those kids. I was raised in a small Iowa farm town that had only one black family in the county and raised by a man who used the N-word like it was a proper noun. I think I was 12 before I realized that the N-word actually wasn't the first name of Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, Elston Howard, and so many more. My dad always referred to the black athlete and any person of color he didn't know that way, but he loved the Matthews family. Henry and Billy Matthews were good people. The whole family was. My dad always said they were different. The one black family he knew were good people. All the others he didn't know, they were the bad people. The ignorance in that reasoning, if you think about it long enough, will twist your mind, and it twisted mine. Kids have to be taught to hate, and it's our parents and grandparents, and our teachers and coaches too, who teach us to hate. Kids become the product of that environment. I was, and they are. The kids who hold the signs and chant their racist slurs, and it's not all of them, it never is, but their ignorance perpetuates the stereotype of all of us in Texas as a racist, ignorant people. But that ignorance will be replaced someday by the wisdom they learn when they live in the real world, when they meet the people who don't look like them, didn't grow up the way they did, the people who make this life worth living. They will change. Not all of them. It never is. But they will change. I did a long time ago. They can too. But not if we try to defend what you cannot defend. And not if we stay silent and think taking their signs away is doing enough. The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Albert Einstein. I'll answer the emails tomorrow. <laughs> You'll likely have a full inbox. We'll be right back.